Al Simmons is going through some ch 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 changes. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again. And today we are totally checking out part two, the modern spawn of the new McFarlane Toys Kickstarter project. A really nice box on this. You can tell they spent some money that they earned from the Kickstarter spawn right there. It's quite the event. Really nice work on this. It's very, very fancy. Looks expensive. You have the green pull tab right there. Each spawn does come with a certificate of authenticity, Masterworks, but really once you open it up, yeah, you get to see all the goodies with this more modern costume for Spawn Gun, Necro Blast, Necro Knife, Humanized Head for Al Simmons, which is very cool to see. Overall, just a really nice package design and Spawn right there front and center with the original sort of clamshell, which is nice because you can reseal it if you want to open it, take it out, play with it. You also get a comic book, much like all three do. Nicely done. In so many words, yeah, it's basically just the director's cut of the original comic. It's all black and white. There are some colors here and there for certain elements, but Todd McFarlane gives kind of his notes, editor's notes on the original comic. If you haven't seen my last video, please do. That is where I will go over articulation and all that good stuff. I will focus more on the look of this spawn and I will focus on all the weapons and different accessories that you get. We'll swap out some heads and just have some fun. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Kickstarter Modern Spawn. And once you get everything undone, taken out of the packaging, here's old Modern Spawn. A very interesting spawn. I will say this, with all the spawn figures that I have on my shelf, being that, of course, this one shares most parts with the more classic Kickstarter spawn that we looked at previously, this is a very unique spawn, and one that I'm like, hmm, there's a lot of choices here that, in looking at all my other spawn figures, he is a little bit different mainly in certain elements and places of his costume, his boots, different colors, certain things here and there that stand out. However, in totality, as a figure, I'm still happy with it. It does have a few more wonky things though than I'd say the classic one. In terms of the cape though, this one opens up a lot better than my classic one. So for that alone, I do definitely like it. And for those of you not familiar with this version of Spawn or kind of how he got this costume, in the very early issues, he used to have the red classic look. And then after a few battles, depleting powers, Redeemer kind of messed him up. He did go through like a symbiote metamorphosis and came out with the more sleek black and white version of his costume. The accessories are a little bit different. This one, not so much. This is the one that you get, of course. This is the nails in the piece of wood, turkey leg looking hook thing. It's okay. It's still painted the exact same as the more classic one. You do get this really nice Necroblast. I like this one a lot. More Necroblast with more spawns, please. You also get the little Necro dagger. It's okay for what it is. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. You do get a very cool Al Simmons head. I would say from what I think about with Spawn, now this is a more modern take I think on Al Simmons. There are various looks for him throughout the series of Spawn in the comic. You do get some head rotation along with the neck and I'll show you in just a second how this one differs from the one that he currently has with the shoelace type head. It's interesting, we'll talk about that more in just a second. You get this nice, I always call them space guns, spawn guns, rocket launcher, grenade launcher. It's, again, if these guns exist, wow, that's amazing. But yeah, it's painted nicely. It's got a nice weather touch to it. It's cool for what it is. And then he comes with a bevy of different hands. And these are the exact same type of hands that we saw on the classic one. Of course, just painted all black, lacking the red and such from the costume. Now, with this shoelace head spawn, this is fantastic looking. I love that head sculpt. That is gorgeous. It looks like it's straight out of Batman versus Spawn, which it's where derived, right? The real weird thing about it though, let me show you. It's, you pop it off, the neck moves. 
it's a really nice sculpt. Love the little elements of the blood and the sinew and the tissue and everything else sticking out. And the green eyes, it's fantastic. Got the shoelace going through. There's no articulation in the head, so you just move the neck around. So it's a little disappointing. I was I would have liked the head to be able to move around because it's such a gorgeous looking head. So really, he's kind of always cocked to the side, whereas I would have liked to be able to move him around. That's all. Yeah, that's really it. The chains, still not happy with those chains in the lower portion. You do get this nice stand right there. And of course, the boot is there. We'll talk about more of that in just a second. But I'm pleased to say that, yeah, the cape works a lot better. It's not as stiff as my more classic spawn. I had some problems with it. I couldn't really do what I'm doing now with this spawn. The one funny thing is the boot, at least for me and how my tastes are, it's on the wrong foot. It's always on his right. Same thing up here. Now, usually he doesn't have any more elements of white. It's usually right there in the chest and down to his crotch piece, right? And the skull and everything else. I love the gauntlet. The gauntlets are great. They always got those. But I really do feel like he should have gauntlets on both sides of his hands. That's really where it is. So that it matches. That's what I think of the more modern Spawn costume. If you look at the artwork, Always on the right. If you look at the action figures, always on the right. So where does this spawn come from? Did they goof it? Nope. This is the Stan Lee Amazing Fantasy 15 tribute cover art that McFarlane did for the spawn. If you notice, much like the action figure, the boot is now on the left side. He only has one gauntlet. He's got that white sort of gloved piece on that side of his arm. This is the Stan Lee. McFarlane spawn figure basically and I just so happen to have the Marvel Legends Stan Lee which is fantastic because when you put them together that's yeah, a perfect I know it's more MCU Stan Lee but it is kind of fun so in that sense now I know he's got the more shoelace hamburger head but you can always swap it out if you have the classic and put this head on there and it works great and they look fantastic together so it really is a spawn that i don't have in my collection being that the boot is on this side every other part of the costume that matches up with that particular stan lee tribute cover art amazing fantasy 15 does really the stan lee spawn figure if we're being honest when it comes to his weapons right he holds them awkwardly i think this particular head though too is a little bit small, especially when you see the hands in comparison to the weapons. And I don't particularly care for the heads. It's not like it's detrimental, but again, in thinking classic Al Simmons and everything, I know it's part of what modern, I think, comics take on Al Simmons, but it doesn't fit for, you know, it's like malfunction. <laughs> That's all I can really say. But I think that terms of his holding weapons like the gun really doesn't fit especially doesn't fit if he's got holding it on the gauntlet side you won't be able to do it correctly it works but it's also very wonky now when it comes to the dagger no problem <laughs> when you pair them up let's say classic and modern spawn you can see the differences and it's really great to have i'm glad they did two different versions of the costume something different something unique and definitely a different spawn look that I don't have on my shelf for Spawn. I do like the classic version looking Spawn better. I think that everything fits a little bit better. I think that the shoelace head though, it's missing some articulation that really would have been preferred. I do like the Necroplastic Blast for this more modern Spawn. I like, again, elements here and there, but it's nice because you can swap out pieces and parts at your leisure if you got both versions. So when you pair him up with, say, the original Spawn figure from Todd Toys, McFarlane Toys, it's fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun to have, especially, you know, having the shoelace head and seeing how they've modernized this version. Take the screaming head, take the Al Simmons head, swap them out, do what you want. But yeah, this new modern Spawn is cool, but it's not without its, like, issues. And other spawns in my collection, yeah, you can see the differences, how they've kind of changed it up, taken from it. This is a new spawn in my collection. I recently did a video showcasing the color tops, and lo and behold, yeah, got myself one. So you can kind of see how it kind of matches up with the previous shoelace head or the more screaming hamburger head for spawn. Comparing it to the Mortal Kombat 
11 spawn. You see what I mean about the gauntlets and such, and of course the boots being on the right-hand side for spawn. I think that that one is the exemplary look for that modern spawn. This one that we're looking at today is definitely the Stanley cover art spawn. <laughs> And in going back and talking about the shoelace head again, if you're not familiar, in so much, let's say, Spawn continuity, Spawn met Batman, threw a battering at him, and the battering went through his face, and it wasn't until later that it wouldn't really heal itself, so a friend in the alleyways used a shoelace to sew him back up again. So I, it's actually pretty cool. You know what it wouldn't really awesome? Just saying. If they ever want to do this, because, you know, McFarlane's doing the DC multiverse, do a Spawn Batman set, be able to put the Batarang in his head. That would be, uh, yeah, that would be killer. When you have him compared with older Spawn figures, yeah, overkill, he's going to look great. Big, menacing, bulky figure. He'll fit great with these new Spawns. Heck, if you even got Grave Diggers, little demons, pack of demons, collector's club pack of demons what have you it's a little nice foil nice photos take for spawn malbolgia malbolgia 2 specifically i will pull out the original malbolgia in my last video when we look at the artist proof but yeah these match up together style wise a lot more detailed whereas the first malbolgia was a bit more comic book but i like that one too i really like that one so that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Kickstarter Modern Spawn with the Al Simmons head, with the shoelace head. It does have its issues. And really, to be honest with you, in kind of naming these things, I'm totally going to go with the Stan Lee Spawn. It's straight from that cover, the look, flip-flopped boot, the different elements, style elements, his costume. Everyone draws Spawn a little bit different, but when I do think of his costume, I think of the more Mortal Kombat 11 look to being the modern, as opposed to this look. It's a style all its own, but it is a welcome one, especially when you have as many Spawns in the collection as I do. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of modern Spawn. Do you have him? Do you need to get him? I will stick by that and say, if you did not get the Kickstarter, do not pay aftermarket. Wait until they bring out some more spawn figures because wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We should be happy towards the fall. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to spawn, everyone's got their own interpretations of them. But I'll tell you this, sit back for a second and read the comics, really, and you'll get a great idea of who the character is. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.